going forward, here is John Hall's daughter, Rebecca. Thank you, Dad. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love my dad. <laughs> well, this next segment is a really special segment. It's where we celebrate people that are stepping forward in really powerful ways. These are individuals that I think, I want to, not I think, that I think it's important that we celebrate each other. And this is an opportunity for us to do that, to lift up, to get to know each other, see some of the amazing things that people are stepping forward in and launching, and then celebrate that as a community. So we call this our 2018, 2019, what is the year? I'm so, that was a test, thank you. <laughs> New dress, I wanted to make sure I got one of the beautiful comments in. <laughs> so this is our 2019 Ready to Thrive Success Panel. Can we please lean in and warmly welcome Olivia Paru to the center of the stage. Woo! <laughs> wow, thank you. So as, a, as she was introducing me, I, I had this oh, oh shit moment that I didn't put any nail polish on. So <laughs> isn't that funny what occurs to us at these times? Um, so I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a geek, and uh, I, when I got into the corporate world, I was, um, I was really traumatized because I was kind of also this very open-hearted person and spiritual seeker. And over the years, I did really well in my career. It was a great time to be a data scientist. I started in the early 90s. I wrote a best-selling book um, in 2001 called Data Mining Cookbook that was a global bestseller. But, and then I wrote another book about um, just how to manage business intelligence, and then I wrote an award-winning book for SAS 2014, all the while knowing that I eventually wanted to bring love into business, and I started to see how the speed of change and the technology and the data I was using was actually creating the need for more human competencies. And do you want to share about a recent award that this beautiful book just got? Oh, it got a Nautilus Book Award, so it got a silver medal in the Nautilus Book Award. So Rebecca told me, oh, this is a great book, you know, and I thought, oh, well, okay, she's being nice, but this was a real validation. So yeah, yeah. I have it back there. It's normally $19.95, but I'm selling it today for $10. If anybody's interested, um, I'd be happy to you know, sell it to you. Thank you. Great. And Thank the follow-up book is out, but it's not in print yet, and yep. that did get number one international mm -hmm. bestseller. So she walks her talk. She can do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So let's welcome Doug Silva to the center of the stage. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those that feel like I need to be in the spotlight or be seen. I'm very much of an introverted person, but I love to make people look really good. And that's what I do. And I get to do something that I've done all of my life. And not a lot of people can say that when they came out of the moon, I can say that I would, came out with a paintbrush and a pencil. And I love the draw, I love the color, and this is what I've done all of my life for the past 23 years. I can go back to February 5th, 1996. And that's when I got my first job in the corporate world of business doing design. And I worked my way all the way up to a senior graphic design position for a big scientific instrument company in Walnut Creek. Image is absolutely everything. And if you don't look good, then nobody is gonna really treat you with any respect or have any value. Because you gotta walk the walk and talk the talk, but you gotta look like it. Kimberly Schur, in her beautiful sequined dress, I love it, is a teen breakthrough expert she has been featured in major media, ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, and recognized for the work that she does supporting teens and an advocate in this area. She is a number one international bestselling author, founder of the Academy for Independence, Masters in Counseling Psychology, and you are launching your podcast soon. We are very excited about that. And your book is also coming out later this year. So we're excited about that as well. And you are passionate about raising the next 
generation of leaders. Can we please lean in? Warmly welcome Kimberly Schur to the center of the stage. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, wow, it is so wonderful to be here with all of you today. And I especially want to thank Rebecca. So Jean Alford is an expert in PR, marketing and communications, a speaker and media trainer. She serves as executive director for the Sudden Cardiac Arrest Association, and you're soon to launch a podcast for them as well. So we're very excited about that. And you have worked for companies such as Dolby Laboratories, Philip Le Phillips Electronics, Philips Electronics, there we go, Philips Electronics, <laughs> Visa, and Sony. And I love your passion and your power to help people be heard, help them be understood that their message is clear and you stand for that, and you hold that for them and with them. So let's welcome Jean Alford to the center, well, hug first. Okay, now to the center of the stage. <laughs> and Janice is a dear friend of mine. I'm honored to have her here today and to be able to share her with all of you. And I wanted to just share, I was going through your bio, you know when you're friends and you're on the journey together and then you take a moment and you get to read that bio again and see your beautiful, powerful friend in, in that way, because you know them on our heart level and that friendship. And so I got to experience that and reading through your resume again and getting ready for, and your bio and getting ready for today. So I want to brag about my friend a little bit. <laughs> so Janice is an executive producer for Janice Edwards, Bay Area Vista, which is an award-winning show. It launched on NBC in the Bay Area. She has, I mean, numerous awards. It was year after year for this program and how she's touching people's lives with it. She is a coach, an executive producer, an author, president and CEO of Edwards Unlimited, she has conducted over 1,200, that's 1,200 interviews. Here's just a little touch of some of the people that she's interviewed. Barack Obama, Oprah, Deepak Chopra, Robert Redford, John Travolta, like there's a range. <laughs> and this is just like a couple highlights. <laughs> and she was recently, and let's celebrate this with her, recently received the 2019 you were inducted into the black legends of silicon valley hall of fame can we celebrate congratulations it's my privilege and honor to bring the amazing janice edwards to the center of the stage <laughs> Thank you so much, and thank you for that applause and recognition. I'm so honored to be here. As all of you who know Rebecca well know, she is such a compassionate person, but such a strategic visionary. And I love it when she says, I have a download, because you know it's going to be amazing. It's a divine download that really just benefits us all. So thank you. Thank you for the privilege of being here today. Thank you for being an amazing friend, and thank you for all that you give to all of us, because you're so talented. You could just do you and we would willingly follow, but you want all of us to be elevated. And so, thank you, thank you. Let's give a round of applause. I'm excited to share a little bit with you. I was thinking about what would I like to share that hopefully will have you leave here and feel like this is an action step I can take. So some, sometimes I talk about five keys to being the star in the reality show of your own life. And two of those keys are prepping for your inner close-up and cutting toxic guests from the roster or the couch. 